Yeah, well, across New South Wales, there's been around 16 shark attacks in the last 18 months. And we've really noticed the downturn in the patrons that come to the beaches. We've tried to implement Phantom Force to help with our shark surveillance because it is such a key topic at the moment. I think it's critically important that humans and sharks live in harmony. I think it's entirely possible. The quick and easy response of going out and killing and culling sharks uh, isn't effective and it's been demonstrated on a number of occasions that it doesn't have an impact upon the risk of sharks to, to people. But the other side of it is that sharks are incredibly important to the marine environment and the health of the marine environment. So we don't predominantly have a lot of rescue helicopters doing surveillance across our beaches. Generally, if we see a shark, it's when it's right in near the swimmers and it causes a bit of a panic. We have to get everyone out of the water. Having the drones, it just gives us that aerial view. We can penetrate straight down into the water. freedom a bit and um, there's a hands-on job you know you use your hand there's it's pretty much yeah there's no technology involved apart from the tattoo machine my favorite style at the moment is black work tattooing which is dot work and line work Overall, it looks good on the body. Looks like it's meant to be on the body. My tattoos remind me of who I was before and of who I'm becoming now. I love every one of them. I don't regret any, any of my tattoos. Out on canvas, out on the body, the same thing. Just different technique. You paint flesh. The polo field is so big. Imagine 10 football fields in one polo field. So because of the immensity, drone technology has totally changed our ability to see what's going on throughout the entire field. So the viewer has a much better opportunity to see and understand polo in a way that they've never been able to before. I think the drones are giving a new perspective to see the place, to understand the lines, to understand the rules. It's a way to understand tactics and we can see what the other team is doing. But we base all of our filmmaking around showing what it's like to play polo, to make people fall in love with the sport. And I think that what we're doing with DJI's help is to change it into something for the better. the science of eight limbs because you're using every every part of your body so there's kicks there's punches knees elbows it's quite a surreal feeling kind of calm and stressful at the same time when I train it's very much stress relief and it's a time to switch off it's a time to clear my mind landscape the warm hospitality of the people and its various beautiful cultures. Join me as I make my way from Djibouti, Somalia, Ethiopia and Eritrea.